Resurrecting coal in Europe, several European nations reactivate coal-fired plants after a ban on Russian fossil fuels. Could that fill the energy gap and will climate goals go up in smoke? The European Union is trying to save gas for winter as Russian energy flows become increasingly uncertain. But the bloc has to burn something else to fill the gap. And it's looking to coal, the most polluting fossil fuel, despite a plan to cut carbon emissions in the coming years. The International Energy Agency says the EU's coal consumption is set to rise by 7% this year. However, it could face a shortage in supply. A ban on Russian coal came into force earlier this month. The European Union banned Russian coal imports in response to the invasion of Ukraine as part of sanctions in April. It says the measure is expected to cost Moscow more than $8 billion in lost revenue a year. The bloc imports almost half of its coal from Russia, with Germany, Poland and the Netherlands the biggest buyers. Almost 70% of the EU's thermal coal, which is used in power and heat generation, comes from Russia. Now, some member states have extended the life of coal plants or reopened others to safeguard power supplies. Others have ramped up supplies from several other countries, including Colombia, Australia and the US. Poland particularly relies on coal rather than gas for power and heating. The country is now facing widespread coal shortages after Russian imports of fuel were banned. Andrew Simmons reports now from Katowice. Poland prides itself on its potential for being totally independent of Russia for its energy needs. But there's a problem. It's a shortage of coal, not gas like the rest of Europe. Rafał Rohr's coal cellar is normally stocked up for winter by now, but he can't find any coal to buy. And if he could, he'd pay almost four times what he used to. I'm not a miner or a geologist, but the coal is right here beneath our feet, and I've been trying to buy it for three months with zero results. He's right. This region is rich with coal, but Polish production is limited and the government has banned imported coal from Russia, even though it's cheaper and more suitable for domestic use. We didn't uh, invest in nuclear power yet. Uh, we cannot rely on natural gas, so all we have is coal. When it comes to the heating sector, the situation is even worse because we were heavily dependent on Russian coal. Poland burns a lot of coal, 87% of the total for households across the European Union. Coal mines surrounded by queues of trucks can't meet the demand. And if people knew the level of profiteering going on, they'd be even more alarmed. There's a reason that truck drivers from all over Poland are spending days on end in queues like these. It's because the loads may be small, but the profits are big. Drivers are known to make at least 100% profit from a coal yard dealer, who will then raise the price by at least another 100%. This driver admits the sick and old will suffer. What the government should do is give pensioners a special allowance on coal, delivered to their door. It's sick. I don't want to profit from human misery, but that's how it is. The government says an annual coal allowance of around $630 a year will help, and ministers say companies are importing coal ahead of the coming winter. Polish companies are now importing coal from um, other countries, from Colombia, Indonesia, South Africa, and replacing uh, with that the, the quantities of coal that were coming from Russia. It's a bit of a different logistics, so it, it creates challenges. But right across Poland, people like this homeowner feel the government isn't doing enough.